YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily fishing video here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Guys, today we're talking David Fritz retiring from professional bass fishing and who is going to replace him. I got a couple rumors out there. I have a feeling some big, big things are coming, if not this year, but next year. But guys, real fast, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you'll do that. It's in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Just hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. So guys, David Fritz retiring, that is actually a little bit surprising on my end. I'm not going to lie, I was told that he was going to stick it out for one more season. Uh, evidently, he decided enough was enough. But let, let's talk about David Fritz for just a minute before we get into the, all the juicy rumors. David Fritz has been a longtime friend of mine. Uh, he is one of the nicest people you will ever meet he's one of those guys that will sit and talk to you about fishing for hours on end if you let him the other big thing that a lot of people don't know about david fritz is he's a phenomenal baker he can bake pies cakes cookies he's one of the best bakers that i've ever been around he makes some of the most delicious things he used to bring us he'd bring me like a little box of uh, cookies and, and different pies and stuff to the different events whether it be the classic icast etc uh, but I've spent a lot of time with David over the years, and he is a fun, a, just a phenomenal human. And on top of that, he was a phenomenal fisherman during his time. Won the Classic, won Angler of the Year, won the Forcewood Cup. One thing that not everybody knew about David is he did deal with COVID uh, and what the doctors called long COVID. I had the exact same thing. I had a long COVID as well. And, uh, you know, being in my 30s dealing with long COVID... It kicked my butt, so I can't imagine at his age how bad it really was for him. And he said he still hasn't gotten over it. And I there's certain times, uh, especially when I get in real high-stress environments, like where I feel it, I, I get to coughing real bad too sometimes. So uh, I completely get where he's coming from, and, and I, I hate to see him go. And he is, like I said, he is just a, a great human. And he's one of those guys that has done so much for the sport that a lot of guys kind of tend to overlook. I mean, he was... Uh, He's always really been big into the teaching element of fishing, whether it be seminars, especially seminars. But also, a lot of people don't realize that he was the creator of a lot of different crankbaits, uh, whether it be the Rapala series, the DT series that literally everybody has in their tackle box. I don't care who you're sponsored by. You have a, a DT6, a DT10, a DT4, one of those crankbaits in your box. When he left Rapala, he went to Berkeley and basically designed all of their crankbaits, including the Fritz side that has been overwhelmingly successful. I, I'm just going to say the guy understands crankbaits probably better than just about anyone on this planet. Uh, he knows what they need to do, how they need to act, and all those different things. So David Fritz retiring is big, big news in this industry. Uh, I'm not sure what his plans are, if he's going to stick it out and keep uh, working in the industry uh, or if he's just cut his ties completely and is just straight up retiring uh, I hope he's going to stick around some but I completely understand if he needs his time away so the big rumor is is somebody's going to replace him but now I want to say this real quick from everything I understand by how everything's rolled out Rick Clun will be the one that takes his legend exemption. So I just want to clear that right now. That's what I was told, is that Clun is going to take that legend exemption. However, and this is the big, big however. Even with Clun taking the legend exemption, how much more time is Clun going to fish? I want to say I saw something uh, on Facebook the other day, posted by, uh, I, I think it was Clun's wife, Melissa, and it said something about, you know, this is his 50th season or, or something around those lines. And I could be wrong a day or two off, but um, I want to say this is his 50th season. So I would not be shocked whatsoever if you see Rick Clun retire at the end of this next season. Now, who does that bring in? And there's one name that comes to mind. And I talked about it with Matt Pangrak the other day, just kind of off the record, just he and I. And he kind of put some stuff in my head a little bit, and I and I honestly haven't stopped thinking about it since then. Do we see KVD come back to bass? Now, I'm going to say, I want to say one thing. I 
I had a conversation with Kevin at iCast. It was at iCast. And he told me that he was done. But he had a lot of other stuff coming up, but he was done. He was done doing it. He was just ready to be done. So, the one thing about it, there's another big-time athlete that said he was done and still came back. Everybody knows him as Tom Brady. Probably one of the best quarterbacks, if not the most successful quarterback in the history of the NFL. I would say that KVD has that same type of uh, name in professional bass fishing. He's won everything. He's beat everyone in everything. Can KVD hang it up with so many years left in the tank? Will he just go by the wayside and not go back fishing? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I think it is a possibility. I do believe there is a shot. Whether it's a one in a million shot or a you know a hundred percent chance, I do believe KVD comes back to the Elite Series. And only to come back and give it one more chance at trying to either get a blue trophy or that Bassmasters Classic trophy. Does he have anything left to prove? Absolutely not. The dude has proven time and time again that he's a phenomenal fisherman, can still win everything about it. I mean, he is still KVD. But does KVD make his way back to the Elite Series? Now, I know when he left, they probably weren't on very good terms. It, it From everything I gather from the situation, it wasn't very good. But a lot of things have changed at Bass. They continually change at Bass. I do think there is an outside chance that he does make a return. It just, I as a fisherman, even on my worst day, even when I hate the tournament scene, and there is times that I absolutely hate it. Like, I want to quit. I want to be done. Even then, I think I'm like, no, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Even then, I really believe that deep down, KVD is looking at it. I And I'm not even sure how old KVD is. I think he's in his 50s. Okay, so he's not 60 or 70. And even if he is 60, he's like 60. All right, so I, I want to say KVD's like in his 50s. All right. Does KVD truly hang it up in his 50s? Like, really? Like, does he say, you know what, I'm done. I, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm absolutely out. I don't think so. I just, I just don't think so. I, I really believe, especially after watching his video, how passionate he still was and how like upset he got, I still believe that there's gas left in the tank. I think you see, even if it's not next year, the year after, I think you see KVD return in some form or fashion to the, the tournament scene. You can only take the tournament fishermen out of the tournaments for so long before they get that itch to come back. That's just where we're at. So what do y'all think? Do you think KVD returns? Do you think he is the next in line on the Legend invite? I mean, he retired this year. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, if he'd have called Bass before Jordan Lee and said, hey, I want back in, he'd have 100% gotten in. But he'd already announced his retirement. He's out. He was done. Give him a year. Give him two years. I don't know. I don't know if he's as strong in his stance of like, I'm done, I'm finished, I want to be done. I think there's going to still see, be some there that he's like, all right, maybe, just maybe, I give it that little chance. Post below what y'all think. Tell me if I'm just acting crazy or out of line. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts. And let me tell you guys, over the last week or so, I've gotten a lot of opinions from you guys, and I am so, so terribly thankful uh, for all the comments, even the negative ones. I, I, I told y'all before, I don't care if you have a negative comment because I learn from everybody's comment. The only comments I don't act like are the ones that are completely out of line and derogatory. I won't stand for those. So if you post one of those, you're going to get blocked. And that's just as simple as that. If you want to have banter back and forth, absolutely, let's roll with it. So guys, I appreciate y'all watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.